Today, three people have been arrested. A 55-year-old uh, Windsor man, a 43-year-old uh, woman from uh, Wentworthville, and a 45-year-old man from Greystones, who I understand is uh, that woman's brother. They're now being uh, uh, processed and will appear at Blacktown Court a bit later today, charged with some very serious, significant charges. All up, we're talking about nearly 20 firearms so far we've located. Uh, we've got them off the street, which is a significant achievement for the Penrith detectives here and for New South Wales Police Force in general. We will allege that these people are part of an organised network selling firearms, illegal firearms, uh, throughout Western Sydney. We've been able to infiltrate that network and uh, we've had an operative who's actually purchased those firearms. It just goes to show, the people that deal in these illegal firearms, in my view, couldn't care where they end up, whether they're used in murders, robberies, some other form of intimidation or public place shootings. Plus the other thing I neglected to mention was the thousands of rounds of ammunition that have been offered for sale and indeed some ammunition that was located today for these various weapons. We're not going to sit back and rest on our laurels. We've got a lot of work to do from here. There's three people in custody at the moment. They are significant players, we will allege, and anticipate there'll be further arrests made. This will no doubt put a significant dent in uh, the organised uh, sale of uh, illegal firearms in Western Sydney, but uh, we're sure there's a lot more out there and we'll continue to run operations to try and take as many of the firearms off the street as we can. Uh, I'd like to once again mention that the great work, the fantastic job that the Penrith uh, detectives have done. They started with uh, some basic intelligence. Uh, we're always looking to find out where these firearms come from. It basically started from there. And it was a lot of hard work by the detectives here at Penrith. Uh, a lot of painstaking hours, long hours, piecing it all together. And then they've come up with the Operation Boodle. And we see the results of that today.